funding for this program is made possible by the Corporation of Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Boy, what a night it was for WWE King and Queen at the ring. So here are the results that happened 48 hours ago. Well, it started off with the kickoff show between Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair against Kenneth LeRae and Indy Hartwell, where they battled for the Women's Tag Team Champions. And boy, it was a gutsy battle until Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair made a teamwork finishing move to retain the women's tag team champions. So congratulations to Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair for retaining their women's tag team champions. Then, in the women's world championship match between Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch, well, it was a real hard fought match until Dominic Mysterio would then brought a chair to Liv Morgan. And that allows Liv Morgan to finish off Becky Lynch and capture the Women's World Champion. And it looks like Dominic Mysterio got some explaining to do on Monday Night Raw tonight. I mean, what will Rhea Ripley have to say about that? Yep, because Rhea Ripley is not going to be happy about this. Because Dominic Mysterio had the audacity on invading the Women's World Championship match, leaving Liv Morgan to capture the women's world champion and Liv Morgan's revenge tour is now in full display or should I say her revenge tour is now successfully complete so look out Monday Night Raw Liv Morgan is now the new women's world champion and Becky Lynch only held on the women's world champion for 34 days moving on Sami Zayn had a real gutsy, hard-fought triple threat match against Chad Gable and Bronson Reed. But the match ended when uh, Sami Zayn pulled out the Haluva kick. It was after when Otis had to body slam Chad Gable. And now what will Chad Gable have to say about that tonight on Monday Night Raw on the fallout from WWE King and Queen of the Ring? Sami Zayn is still the Intercontinental Champion, overcoming the odds. Yeah, look at that. That's the scene where Otis have to body slam Chad Gable. And the Queen of the Ring finals between Nia Jax and Lyra Valkyria. Well, it was a good battle, but in the end, Nia Jax pinned Lyra Valkyria and winning the Queen of the Ring, and whether you like it or not, Nia Jax have earned herself a Women's Championship match at SummerSlam. But before SummerSlam, we've got to get through Clash at the Castle and in Scotland and Money in the Bank in Canada. Yeah, the next two premium level events we're heading to right now are Clash at the Castle and Money in the Bank. SummerSlam won't happen until August. But Nia Jax is not the only one who gets an opportunity of a championship match at SummerSlam. Gunther won the King of the Ring against Randy Orton after a hard-fought battle. And with that, Gunther earned himself a World Heavyweight Championship match at SummerSlam. And he is now King Gunther. Not only he's general, but he's now King. So, Monday Night Raw, bow down to King Gunther and I got a feeling that Gunther could become the next world champion at SummerSlam in August but until then we got to get through Clash at the Castle and Money in the Bank because those are the next two premium live events we're on the road to now 
and final and finally last but not least Cody Rhodes against Logan Paul I mean <laughs> it was a good battle but right when Logan Paul got the brass knuckles well Michael Cole and Corey Graves would then roast Logan Paul after when he have to bring out the brass knuckles again the only reason that he's United States Champion now is because he used the brass knuckles on Rey Mysterio. But unfortunately, Cody Rhodes fought back and retained the WWE Undisputed Champion. And boy, Cody Rhodes sure have a hell of a run as WWE Champion. He beat Roman Reigns to end his 1,613 day reign as WWE Champion. And also, he beat AJ Styles at Backlash. Yeah, ever since Cody Rhodes won the WWE Undisputed Champion at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns, well, Cody Rhodes is now more unstoppable than ever. But we never know whether he'll be done with his story as champion. Well, with Backlash and King and Queen of the Ring in the books now, we're on the road to Clash at the Castle. What you guys think about WWE King of the Ring, uh, King and Queen of the Ring last last 48 hours? Let me know in the comments down below. That's all I have to share, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, keep it real, my friends, and stay in school. Funding for this program is made possible by the Corporation of Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. <laughs>